here with the amazing Kaziah Jones. I'm pretty sure I have been messing up accents and how people are pronouncing your names, and I'm sure I might have messed that up. Kaziah, Kazia, what is it? It's all good, man. It's uh, all good? I say Kaziah. A lot of French people say Kazia. Some people say Kazia. All right, we ain't going with those. Kaziah got a nice swing We're going with what you say. We're going with what you say. We're going to go with the Jones at the end of it. Kaziah Jones. We have to keep up with the Joneses as well. Okay, we're with, and Kaziah has come here for the Cool Waters Jazz and Roots Festival, the inaugural version, and he is one of the headliners for the festival. And so we just finished a creative session where uh, the the main artists from the festival have shared a lot of a lot of their their wisdom about the future of music, African music, um, how they got started, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And in that, it's just one question I want to pose to you, Kaya. You had mentioned uh, that you had two phases to your discovery of music: mm -hmm. one when you actually discovered it, and one when you said, "I'm going to execute." Mm -hmm. That second phase, I was very fascinated with that, in that you were in school yeah. and you said, you closed the formal books yeah. and then you became a street musician yeah. from that. I want you to just share with us that moment when you made that decision, found that courage, you're probably a courageous person anyway, but it takes a lot of courage to do that. I just want you to describe that moment when you said, I'm moving from here to right. there. Well, the innocence of youth has a lot to do with it as well. <laughs> yes. Um, and not knowing also has a lot to do with it. Um, but I, if I knew anything, I knew that I had a certain feeling that felt really, really good. And it opened up my mind in, in, a, in a million ways. Uh, just being able to create endless forms, like I said, endless, endless forms by using some s small elements. I could create infinite forms just as a practice for myself. You know, it was a joyful thing to do, and I thought I wanted to be able to do this all the time. I wanted to be in my life all the time. It makes me feel good, and I can and I can do so many things with it. I hadn't even started thinking about how to. We don't think about records or anything like that. I'm just talking about an activity that makes you feel good spiritually, and you feel you're opening your head up and you're expanding your mind. I wanted to continue that in some way, and I knew that this other path, which is where I was on, which was sense for me. Okay, I'm studying economics, politics and law, I was going to end up going to university to do business and all those things. I knew that I was going to create less time to be able to practice this thing. So the decision was actually quite simple. It was simple, but also it was innocent, because at the same time I didn't know what was going to happen next. Like, you know, I just knew that I had to make this choice, and, and if I'm true enough, uh, if I study this thing enough, and I get good at it enough, it will give me everything I need. I knew that. So it's a very simple decision. It's the last day of all the exams. Um, Donald, this is what they call O levels, which is like uh, end of high school, I guess. In the year. So uh, um, last day of exams, I realized I looked at my what I owned. What do I own? I had suitcases full of books and suitcases full of suits and ties, like the schools I went to. Um, so it was easy to leave all that stuff behind. I just left the books behind, left the suits behind. I took like a shirt, some t-shirts, some uh, a pair of jeans, and a guitar. And I, and I left that school, and I basically lived rough for like two years, two and a half years, crashing through these couches, busking, and living in squats. At that time in London, there was a real community, communal vibe where you had nowhere to stay, people would walk you into a squat. It could be like a bus, it could be like an old abandoned building. Artists would get together and live and share and support each other. So that really helped me too. But as a result of that, by playing every day, because that's all I could do, that's all I had to do, I had nothing else to do. I played every day, I got better and better. You know, my, my consciousness got bigger and bigger, my subject matter got wider and wider. And suddenly I realized I was a musician. Just because. If you do something all the time and you practice it, inevitably you get better. And you get more uh, efficient at it. Um, and then other things come into play. Like, you know, how do you now uh, uh, take that onto a higher stage? Which means starting to think strategic strategically. I need a manager, or uh, uh, I need to play in this particular place, or uh, I need to write this kind of music, or this kind of song, I need to sing in this particular pitch, I need to attract certain people, I need to dress certain way. All these things, like as a result of busking, because they're playing on the street. Mm. And I also knew as well that if I could be self sufficient, i.e., if I wrote my own music, if I controlled my instrument, if I could play all the things that I needed on my instrument, I didn't know how to play bass or drums, but I could hit the guitar like a drum, I could 
to make a drum beat, I can play the guitar like a bass, to make a bass line, I basically accompanied myself. So when it came to the level of making records, I still kept it intact because like basically all they had to do was follow what was already in the guitar. So the music didn't go off in a different direction, no. you know, it didn't end up as something else. So there's a lot of things involved, but uh, that particular decision was very, very easy because I just followed my heart. Like, and I thought, damn the consequences. There you, go. Yeah. you hear that? Follow your heart and damn the consequences. Follow your dreams. Follow what you are feeling inside. And you too could be Kaziah Jones. <laughs> you said you got to land the Jones. Thank you so much, Kaziah.